Hello, everyone. My name is Chao Jiang from Harbin Institute of Technology. Today, I'm delighted to have the opportunity of making this presentation about structural variation detection from long rate sequencing data with QTSV. My presentation mainly contains four parts. First, let's move on to what is structural variation and how to discover it. Stru structural variation. Structural variation represents genomic rearrangements and the regions from about 50 bases to several megabases. As you can see, structural variation mainly contains three types, balanced rearrangement, imbalanced copy number variation, and complex rearrangement. Balanced structural variation includes inversion and translocation. Imbalanced copy number variation consists of deletion, insertion, and duplication. Then a genomic region is involved in multiple types of structural variation. A complex one will be determined. Recently, a large number of studies have proven that structural variation appears widely in human genome and affects molecular and cellular processes, regulatory functions, and is associated with complex phenotypes, such as autism and schizophrenia, and has been implicated in genomic disease, such as Mendelian disorders and cancers. There are high demands for revealing the full spectrum of genetic variation, improving understanding of mutation and the evolutionary pro processes which are helpful for leading to more novel biological insights. With the rapid development of long read sequencing technology like ox 4 power technologies, a new effective routine of structural variation detection is established for more comprehensively discovering structural variations at a high resolution through a long range spanning information from read elements than before. In ONT sequencing, DNA is tagged with sequencing adapters preloaded with a motor protein on one or both ends. The DNA is combined with test ring proteins and loaded onto the flow cell for sequencing. The flow cell contains thousands of protein nanopores embedded in the synthetic membrane, and the test ring proteins bring the DNA molecules towards these nanopores. Then the sequencing adapter inserts into the, the opening of the nanopore, and the motor protein begins to unwind the double-stranded DNA. An electric current is applied, is applied in concert with the motor protein, drives the negatively chain charged DNA through the pore at a rate of about 450 bases per second. As the DNA moves through the pore, it causes characteristics disruptions to the current, generating a readout known as squiggle. Changes in current with the pore correspond to a particular chimer, which is used to identify the DNA sequence. Compared with the generation sequencing data platform, advantages of ultra long rays direct sequencing strategy and the no GCT bias will significantly improve the performance of discovering structural variation, especially in repetitive genomic regions. However, there are still remaining challenges even for the state-of-the-art structural variation calling methods. With the high sequencing errors, the breakpoints and the size on the read alignments are chimeric and heterogeneous. Besides, it is a high demand for supplying enough coverage of sequencing data sites in order to uncover the complex and the rare structural variations. The simple rules of signatures analysis module will also miss plenty of real structural variations and, e and even generate false positive predictions. And the high time and the memory consumptions further limit the wild application of structural variation calling methods. 
all of our issues will decrease the sensitivity, accuracy, and efficiency of structural variation calling. To break these bottlenecks, we present QTSV along with alignment-based structural variation detection method. Now I'm going to talk about structural variation detection with QTSV. QTSV mainly contains three steps. Firstly, QTSV uses multiple signatures extraction methods to collect the signatures of various types of structural variations. Furthermore, it combines short insertions and deletions from fragile alignments to recover the evidence of real structural variations. Secondly, a clustering and refinement approach is perfectly designed to integrate the chemical aligned streets in local regions and further refines the cluster to pre preciously distinguish the signatures from heterozygous variants. Finally, could as we use several tailored rules to implement as we calling on the genotyping based on the refined cluster of signatures. On the basis of the specific design modules, there are three different applications of QTSV. Respectively, there are discovering structural variation using long read alignments, discovering structural variation using deployed assembly alignments, and cohort-based structural variation calling. QTSV are proved to present outstanding performance. Users can select any way of conduct pipe or JIT commands to install QTSV conveniently. The major contribution of QTSV includes three beneficial features. The first one is its high precision and recall on structural variation calling and genotyping. A 47 coverage HG002 ONT promethon sequencing data was performed for structural variation calling and oxidized on the most recent GIAB truth site. QTSV significantly improves the exact identification of breakpoints, alternative allele frequencies, and variant genotypes. Compared with other state of the art methods, QTSV also achieved high overall performance on precision, recall, and F1 score. Also, QTSV identified more variants around 300 bases and 5,000 bases, which is expected of ALU and line peaks in human. The detection of different sites of structural variation is, large, is largely independent. What's more, it is significant that a higher number of insertions than deletions are uncovered in the region of low complexity short tandem repeats. Here, we show an example of a large homozygous insertion. With the advantage of ONT ultra long read sequencing, QTSV extracts signatures from the split alignments and reports a homozygous 40,000 40, species insertion. We also show another example of a large heterozygous deletion. Due to the improvement of ONT sequencing and the long read mapping, QTSV successfully reports a heterozygous 32,000 bases deletion covering the genes of LCE3B and LCE3C, which are associated with psoriasis. We also benchmark the performance about structural variation detection focused on the HG002 haplotype resolved genome assembly. Compared with another similar tool, QTSV still maintains high performance on calling phased structural variation. And we believe it is a new powerful method that allows a pairwise comp comparison of genomes and it enables structural variation calling even in the absence of a suitable reference genome. The second beneficial feature is its low demand for the coverage of sequencing data. These days, QTSV has been merged into a new structural variation calling pipeline by ONT called IP2Me. 
a recently performance evaluation with epitome on a 50 coverage AG002 ONT sequencing data reports that high precision is independent of sequencing coverage, whereas a significant promotion on recall are achieved from high coverage data. It is necessary for identifying over 95% of all variants with assertive coverage. However, 15 coverage is enough to discover over 90% structural variation, which, which indicates that QTAS we can obtain satisfi satisfactory performance on low coverage data sites. The third beneficial feature is greater scalability and low memory footprint. QTAS we is a representative of the present structural variation color that achieve a, a nearly linear multiple thread speed up and suitable for large scale genomic studies. Meantime, its stable and low memory consumption of uh, three gigabytes indicates QTSV is suitable for the modern general desktop computer. After that, I will introduce the typical application of QTSV. On the basis of the specific design modules, there are three different applications for QTSV. The general use is to detect structural variation from long read alignment. It is acceptable for the long read alignment that generated from the current well applicated aligners like Minimap2, LRA, and NGMR. Some tools as a post processing toolkit is performed for sorting and indexing the alignment file. After preparation of the sorted long read alignment BAM file, QTSV can be applied to resolve all kinds of variant signatures and generate structural variation call sites with predicted genotypes by the command here. Notably, mean support is recommended as one six of the, cro the corresponding sequencing coverage, but no less than two. Besides, merge insertion threshold and merge deletion threshold are recommended as 500 in order to discover those structural variations that might be divided into several parts mistakenly by read mapping. Another common use is to discover haplotype feeding structural variations from deployed assembly alignments. There are three major steps to achieve this. First, mark haplotype unique tags respectively from maternal and paternal assemblies. After that, apply Minimap2 to complete assembly alignment and then perform some tools for post-processing. At last, identify haplotype feeding structural variations while QTSV and the Python script of deployed calling. QTSV also supports to resolve full spectrum structural variations and corresponding allele frequencies in a multiple samples combined cohort. There are four major steps to achieve this. First, detect structural variations on each sample using QTSV. Then apply survival merge each sample level call sites into one file. After that, force call structural variations on each sample again, based on the merged call sites. Finally, apply survival again to merge false calling structural variations across all samples and generate the final population call sites. In terms of future work, I currently have two things to do to further improve the long read structural variation calling. The first one is to produce the consensus sequence of each alternative allele. The consensus sequence will effectively repair the errors produced in sequencing and alignments and reproduce the actual DNA fragments. Realigning the consensus sequence will further promote the accuracy of breakpoint and size. Another future work is developing a new joint structural variation calling method. Considering the huge amount of mutations and the spatial complexity of distribution, 
several divided and concur strategies and specific design clustering approach for cohort are applied to improve the performance of structural variation calling on cohort level. Finally, I want to thank my team leader, Professor Ya Dong Wang, and team members, Bo Liu, Ya Dong Liu, Shu Qi Cao, and Shi Qi Liu. Thank you for your listening.